What's up, Vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and today we've got another sample box to take a look at. I'm gonna be unboxing this thing momentarily. We're gonna see what we got inside this month, and we're gonna test some of these flavors out. If you guys are interested in getting a sample box of your very own, you can check out the link on my website. Link to that is right down there in the description below. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and see what we got in this month's box. All right, guys, so as you can see, we've got our sample box for this month. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what we got. I have not seen what's inside of this thing yet, and I am excited. Not sure about you guys, but yeah, here we go. We have the tasting menu for this month, which we will take a look at in a second here. We'll put that off to the side. We also have some other stuff in here. We have the obligatory rate your juice card. They want you to rate it on social media. So if you get one of the, the example boxes for yourself, then make sure you do that. And a lovely sticker. We have a sticker. So I'm gonna find a place for that somewhere, probably just in my collection, but let's go ahead and remove the foam. <laughs> what do we get? All right, there's our juice, or at least some of our juice for this month. We've got, what is this one here? Strange Clouds, Knockout Punch. That sounds good. We've got Black Unicorn. This is purple grape. Grape flavor. I haven't had a grape flavor in a long time, so maybe I'll try that one out. We've got another Superb. You know, got you guys know how much I love Superb. This one is White Current. Ooh. I know Frames Janklin Vapor loves this stuff, so I might have to try it out this month just based on his recommendation. Next up, we've got some Vape Craft right here this one is fruit whip we've got another vape craft flavor this one is tropical twist there we go and last but not least on the top we have go go juice and what is this one called watermelon okay well that's that's pretty obvious all right guys so let's take a look at what we got in our second layer here another vape craft this is yogurtize me <laughs> i like the name i'm not gonna lie and we have, uh, this is from Cloud Junkies. We got one of these last month. This is just banana, banana, simply banana. That one's pretty easy. We have another Gorilla Fruits. We've been getting a lot of these as well. Wild Berry. And we have some Majestic Mango. I, I, have we gotten this one before? I honestly cannot remember, but we have Majestic Mango. This stuff is good. If you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Oop bump the camera there and finally we have strawberry lemonade Ooh, I could go for a strawberry lemonade right about now that sounds delicious so we have all of our flavors here let's just throw them all back in the box there we go we have our flavors for this month let's go back up to the main screen and we'll try some of these out and just for the record I do have brand new atomizers for this test so we're gonna be trying out four different flavors today on fresh coils All right, guys, so we took a look at what's inside the box. Now let's try some of these flavors out. I've got four picked out with four different atomizers and mods to try out these flavors with. And first one we're gonna try is this guy right here. This is Vapecraft's Strawberry Lemonade. It's obviously a strawberry lemonade and it's a 70% VG blend from Vapecraft House Line Favorites out of Vista, California. So let's go ahead and drip this one up in our first device. All right, so the first thing I can tell you about this one is that it's definitely more on the citrus side than on the strawberry side, which is not a bad thing in my book. It's just kind of what I get first and foremost. The strawberry that's in there is kind of muted in the in the background, and I can say that it's probably only in there just to sweeten it up a tad because this stuff is very, very sour and tart. It's a heavy kind of citric acidy kind of flavor, and you can kind of tell just based on the, the actual kind of color of it, this stuff here, hopefully you guys can see, it's a a little bit cloudy and usually the heavy citrus based liquids start off a little bit cloudy and then clear up after a couple of weeks. I've noticed this in several pink lemonade flavors and stuff like that and it's kind of a common case sort of thing there. 
But with this one here, the flavor is really good. I like the citrusness of it. The lemonade kind of being the prominent factor here is a good thing in my book. It's just a little bit sweet, but not too sweet, which is excellent. And overall, pretty darn good. Next up, we're gonna try this white currant flavor from Superb. This one comes highly recommended from James Franklin, AKA Frames Janklin Vapor. Make sure you guys check out his channel. It's a white currant flavor. I mean, it's pretty obvious there. It's a 70% BG blend from Superb Platinum Collection out of LA. So the first thing I'll say about this one is that it's very different from black currant. Obviously this one being a white currant, it's a little bit lighter of a flavor, it's a little bit more mild, it's less sour, less tart, and a little bit less sweet as well. I've tried a lot of the flavors from the UK that have black currant in them, and a lot of them are very strong, powerful flavors with a lot of sweetness and tartness, and this one is just the lighter side of that. It's got a little bit of tartness, it's got a nice zing to it, and it's got a little bit of sweetness but it's not over the top whatsoever. The one thing I will say is I wish the flavor itself was a little bit stronger because for me, it's a little bit hard to pinpoint the actual flavor of the white currant in this one here. It's just kind of a generic kind of sourish, tartish sort of flavor. Still a good flavor, still recommended, and maybe I'll have to pick up a bigger bottle of this someday soon. All right guys, so next up we've got another Vapecraft flavor here that we're gonna be trying out. This one is Tropical Twist. This is described as mango, orange, and pineapple. I have grown to absolutely love this flavor combination as of recently, so I'm excited about this one. 70% VG from Vapecraft House Line out of Vista, California. Let's go ahead and get started. I've got this one loaded up in the Falcon tank here, as you can see there. So let's go ahead and have a vape on this one. So once again, the flavor combination of mango, orange, and pineapple does not let me down. This one is absolutely fantastic. To be honest, I could use a little hint of menthol with this one. Just a little hint, nothing overbearing or anything like that, but I feel like just a little touch of menthol, a little coolness in there would really just make this one just over the top for me. And with that, it's kind of a nice end of summer refreshing treat. We're looking at fall happening in a couple of weeks here in New England, and sooner or later, the leaves are going to be falling off the trees, so I got to enjoy my tropical combinations when I can, and this one here is definitely should be on your list if you enjoy a really good fruit tropical flavor. All right, guys, so the last one up is this one right here, the Purple Grape from Black Unicorn. It's described as a grape blend. It's 70% VG, and it comes from Black Unicorn out of South El Monte, California. So right now I've got it loaded up in another one of these Fat Rabbit tanks. So let's vape. You know what, I should have just went with my gut feeling on this one. Grape just doesn't really ever work with e-liquids, except white grape. White grape flavors are the exception to that, but purple grape flavors usually just taste like cough medicine or way too sweet. And personally, I feel like it's a little bit of a mix of both with this one here. They tried to make it good. It kind of has that grape soda-esque sort of flavor, but it's very, 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 very artificial and a little bit on the sweeter side from my palate at least. So ah, they tried really hard with this one. You can tell, but honestly, it just does not vibe with me. Personally, I believe that there's no such thing as a really banging purple grape flavor out there. Please prove me wrong in the comments box below, but let me know what you guys think about any one of these flavors down there. I would really love to hear your opinions. Or if you want to grab a sample box for yourself, I'll have the link on my website. Link to that is right down there in the comments box below. But that about does it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Leave your comments down in the box below and check out the links in the description below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and as always, Fape on!